Okay, welcome back. Now, what I want to talk to you about is dilution law. It's a really handy little formula that will help you with figuring out pHs, which is what we're currently looking at, but it'll also help you on our next unit, which is called stoichiometry. Now, dilution law basically works off the idea. I have a beaker that has... Sorry. I have a beaker that has one mole of substance in it in let's say 250 ml of solution. The concentration of that is going to be the number of moles on the volume. Remember volume is always in litres. So it's going to be 1 on 0 0.250. So our concentration is going to be 4 molar. Now, dilution law says, what happens if I take that 250 ml and dilute it? So I take this solution here and I pour it into another beaker and I fill that beaker up to, let's say, one litre. Now, I still have exactly the same number of moles here as I do here. That's the key point. It's dilution. I am not adding any more of the thing that is dissolved. I start with one mole and I end up with one mole. So again, my concentration is N on V, which is 1 on 1, is 1 mole. Now that's easy enough to work out. But, but what happens when the numbers we're dealing with aren't quite so pretty? So I have 10 ml of a 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution and that gets diluted to 320 ml. My, I need to find the concentration of my new solution. Now, what we saw on the previous slide is that my concent sorry the concentration that I s sorry the number of moles I start with is the same as the number of moles I end up with so I am not adding any more substance to this mixture now let's think about concentration Concentration is number of moles divided by volume. So we know that the number of moles is our concentration times our volume. Now my number of moles in this question isn't changing. So the number of moles that I start with, let's say this is... The original and over here I have my diluted. I'm still going to have N equals C times V but the thing is the important thing to note is that these N's are equal. This N and this N are the same thing. I am not adding any more substance. So, the, my N1 is the same as my N2. So, if N equals C times V, the concentration and times the volume of what I started with has to equal the concentration times the volume of what I end with. This formula here, is called dilution law. So let's put some numbers in. So the my C1, the concentration I started with, was 0 0.1 molar. So we have 0 0.01 times 10 mil 
is 10 on 1,000, because remember, it's got to be in litres. And that equals, sorry, let me just move this down so I can make us some room. All right, so, and that will equal whatever my new concentration is times my the volume I dilute it to. So that'll be 320 on 1,000. Now, so we have C2 equals 0 0.01 times 10 on 1,000 times 1,000 on 320. So if we put that into a calculator, so we end up with 3.12 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. Okay, I'll, do an, I'll work through another one and I'll use pH for this one. Alrighty, so we have a 100 ml sample of pH 3.2 that is diluted to 1 litre. I am calculating the new pH. So pHs tell us about the concentration of H3O plus, and they're linked by this. So we have to start by converting our pH into a concentration of H3O plus is 10 to the minus pH is 10 to the negative 3.2. Sorry about the dodginess of that little bit of handwriting there. So calculator equals 6.3 by 10 to the minus 4 molar. So that is in 100 mils, and this is our C1. V1 is our 100 mil, which is 0 0.1 litres. So, sorry, and our V2 is 1 litre. So let's substitute that in. So, do, 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 sorry, we have C1V1 equals C2V2. C1 is 6.3 by 10 to the neg 4 times 0 0.1 equals C2 times 1. So C2, I'm hoping that you realise that C2 times 1 is the same thing as C2. And you can put that in your calculator. Otherwise, multiplying anything by 0.1 is the same thing as dividing by 10. So you just add another minus 1 to there. So it is 6.3 times 10 to the neg 5 molar. But, okay, so most of you would be tempted to stop the question there. But this concentration, sorry, wrong thing, this concentration was not what the question was asking for. What the question was asking for was the new pH. So what we then need to do is we take pH is neg log, sorry, sorry about that, just need to erase a little bit. Okay, I'll start from there then. Okay, pH is neg log concentration of H3O plus, that would be a plus there, is neg log 6.3 by 10 to the neg 
five and excuse me again while I calculator is 4.2. Now remember pH doesn't have a unit. Your concentrations, which is what this is, have a concentration of have a unit of moles, big M's, but our pHs don't have units. That's the end of dilution law. If you check your email that has this link in it, you'll also see the PDF I've attached with the questions. Please email me if you've got any questions. Thank you.